Welcome in my new video. For today, I will prepare a step-by-step -step process of how I do powder brows correction procedure for you. When I was working on these brows on an initial procedure, I used mineral pigments. You can see that the brows are healed really, really nice. They are really natural, but my client told me she would like to have the brows a little bit more darker. So now I'm going to use mineral pigments and I'm going to do two passes for the each brow. We can see that the tail is a little bit softer, so we will be working on the tail a little bit more. But other than that, healed result is amazing. First thing I'm going to do is to clean the brows properly and then we can maybe plug them a little bit and we are ready to go. When we have a beautifully healed brows, we don't really need to measure them again. The only thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use my pencil and make a little bit line at the bottom and here on the tail. Here you can see how I map the brows when I do the correction procedure. Let's do the other brow. I'm going to use Contour Professional Mineral Pigments. I also used this color before, but for now I'm going to use less copper because I want to have my brows a little bit more darker. So I need to use a little bit more brunette than before. Now we have to mix these two colors properly. I'm gonna use Quadron Needle 035 One Round Liner Medium Taper. The length of my needle is around one and a half millimeter and I'm going to use Hybrid Stroke Machine. Don't forget to stretch to the three different directions. Towards yourself, away from you and to the left. We will start on the tail And we will start with the pendulum movement back and forth. I am working with mineral pigments, so I have to place my strokes very close to each other because I want to make these brows darker now. My movements are very soft and airy and I am not pressing on the skin at all. I am very soft. Let's check what we have here. We can already see beautiful brown color. Don't rush. Place your strokes very close to each other and enjoy the procedure. When we are working on a gradient, we have to place our strokes a little bit far away from each other and try to stay at a 90 degree angle. If your hands are slippery or you cannot fix your shape properly, use cotton pad. Cotton pad will help you to stretch the skin. When you are working on the gradient, make sure that you put your strokes a little bit far away from each other, like that. You don't want a lot of color in the fronts, 
be aware that it's really really easy to oversaturate your fronts so I always do it once then I work on the rest of the brow and then when I want to see how my fronts looks like I come back to them after 5 to 10 minutes and I can see how my color looks like in the skin if I need I can adjust it a little bit but I am always very 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 careful with the fronts Now I'm applying a little bit of anesthetic because I want to show you how the beautiful gradient will pop up. Let's clean the anesthetic now. Here you can see brows before the procedure, before the correction. And here you can see the brows after the correction. Look at the beautiful gradient here. When you have a good skin, and when you have a very soft hair, brow hair, your gradient will always pop up and it always will look beautiful. We already moved to the other side and now we are going to do exactly the same. So I'm already starting with the brows, I'm starting with the tail and I'm using pendulum movement. I am working with the mineral pigments so I have to place my strokes, my movements very close to each other because I want to make it a little bit more saturated than before. 90 degree angle is essential and you have to stretch properly to the three different directions. Don't forget that you have to be in a 90 degree angle and stretch to the three different directions. I am slowly coming to the front part of the brow and in around five minutes I will finish my correction procedure. If your brows are healed nicely, your correction procedure will take around 30 minutes maximum. Let's clean the brows. It looks beautiful to me. I can see some small empty spaces which I would like to finish but other than that it's amazing and we are almost done. I want to add a little bit to my tail because I want my tail to be saturated enough. Also with the bottom line. Here, a little bit softer. This is how we create the gradient. Again, from the bottom line and to the top, really soft. From the bottom line Let's put the anesthetic. I already finished with the procedure. Hopefully you will enjoy it.
Thank you very much for the watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!